welcome to Adult Coloring for UFOs. Today I am going to be doing a what I colored in January, February, March, April, May. May! <laughs> what I colored in the month of May. Um, let's just get started, but before we do, Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Okay, guys. So, um, <laughs> let's get started. And you guys, I'm so embarrassed because this month I actually purchased those little like sticky tabs. Didn't really help. <laughs> Uh, I still lost track of what I colored. So anyways, one of the things I colored that I forgot to mark, let me do it right here. Um, I don't know what day. This is from Deborah Muller Bad Fairies. I use Cali Arts and some pencils. I don't know what pencils some gel pens um some stickle gels and <clears throat> some jane davenport powders it looks like and yeah i had a lot of fun coloring this one very pretty um then i colored this from from Hannah Lynn Tattoo Darlings. Um, I try to use only reds except for the skin tone. I um, paint to the background with black acrylic paint. Then did, uh, <laughs> did these spots with just some glittery paints. Um, here you have her. I really enjoy coloring um, Hannah Lynn's Tattoo Darlings. With just some Cali Arts and have some fun. Then I did a page in a Little Nice Town. I think it's the second book. I'm trying to do the entire book and actually color it in order. I had actually almost finished another page. Um, but I didn't finish it on time. I I finished it this month. <laughs> I actually have a lot of whips um, from May that I've been working on in April. And before filming this, I was like, should I include those? And I'm like, well, I didn't technically finish those in May. So I'm not including them. I'll include them in April's video. Uh, I use polychromos, which is a new medium for me this past month, and these glazed jelly roll um, pens thingies. I don't know. I really like how this picture came out, um, and I'm sure I used distress inks in the background. I hope you guys could see fine. I'm kind of like in a little chair, so it's a little bit hard. One of my favorite pictures this month is <laughs> this one right here. It's super, super duper cute. It is from my husband's Etsy shop that I always have linked down below. It is a UFO mermaid with a Dumbo octopus and a little crab. Um, I just love how this page came out. It was fun to color and um, now it's just fun to look at. <laughs> So, very happy with this page. Oh, and I use um, Copics, some of the glaze gel pens, um, stickle gels here in the background. Stickles probably, I don't know what else I used. A lot of stuff like usually. Okay, in Gypsy Dance. I colored, oh, I have a little tab. <laughs> there we go, very nice. I colored this one, it was a lot of fun. I used probably, 
um i did a base let me see of cali arts i think yeah and then i did some shadows with polychromos and then i used my pencil gel pens that were gifted to me also distress inks in the background and i really like how she came out you know what i didn't use cali arts i used um blake markers now I remember because of the skin tone okay next thing i colored also with my polychromos is from magical fairy village i am going to be doing a book haul very soon which i'm going to include this book in it i am in love with this book and i want to get started in coloring more um the first page I did, and it was a very different style for me. I colored these with the polychromos, and it's a very like light, not varnish look. And I know it's not everybody's style, but I definitely really loved how, like the process and how it looks. Um, especially with books like this where I'm not trying to make it a masterpiece but when you're flipping through it it is cute to see um, where is it now it is cute to see um, the colored page you know and what I love about the polychromos is that they have a harder lead than the Prismacolor pencils. So um, for this picture that is so dainty and little, you know, the fairies, the fish, the houses, um, it was just pleasant to color with them. So this is another page I did in this book. Um, I feel like I kind of messed up. Here I was experimenting more. I started doing the same thing I did with the other page, which is do a very light color. Um, but then I discovered like the varnish look with the polychromos and I like that also. Um, and everything would have been fine. <laughs> but then I used this black gel thing for this part because I felt like I need to separate the roof from the tree. That's how it started and it was just too thick but once i had this little area i was like let me add it throughout the picture because it looks super weird that it's just here um i wish i didn't add these black lines because it really makes it look too chunky and thick for the style of illustration but you know what overall it is a pretty picture it's colorful it's nice and i do like it and i'm really excited to color in more but i have been working on so many other pages um give me one moment okay so we're gonna move on to slightly whips things that i could have finished um but honestly i just don't want to um one day i'll flip through this book and decide to finish this um <laughs> you know really all i need is to add some little details color in the leaves color in the rest of the flowers and that's pretty much it um like i enjoyed it but like i don't feel like working on this page right now so that's why it's a whip Another page that I almost finished, but it's not quite finished, is this one from J. Summer uh, Chibi Girls. This elf. Um, some people could say that this is finished. I know some things I want to add to it. Um, but I just haven't felt like it. <laughs> and I use Cali Arts in this, I believe. I don't even know. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. 
So this is another one. This is Baby Animals, another book I have to haul. Um, I colored this. So I really, really enjoyed it. This is the first time I used polychromos. Um, and I could tell like how different they worked on Amazon paper. And I really, really enjoyed it. And then I decided to do something a little bit different over here. This is not finished. Um, I would like to go over, this is with marker. The flowers are pencil. I wanna go over the tree and the bears and the grass with some pencils. So this is technically a whip. I'm not saying it's finished, but something I worked on this month. So there you go. I'm pretty sure I have another whip around here. And I don't want to show you the pictures that I've been like working on this month and finished them. So I'm like skipping through those. <laughs> okay. This one, I didn't like how it came out. I love Kelly Horton. I love this book. Um, and this was a buddy color with my friend Jen. Um, but honestly, I put a base of Distress inks and then I went on top with Polychromos. I didn't like how it worked. I don't know if it was like the mixture of a water base with oil based pencils and this paper. I don't know. It just didn't work out for me. In the end, um, I did go ahead and <clears throat> redid her hood part with and her skin with Prismacolor pencils. Um, and I like how it looks like this better. Um, but yeah, like the background and stuff, I don't really like it. <laughs> but you know what? It's pretty. I'm like, it's colored. It's pretty. Moving on. Okay, and I think, honestly, the last picture I'm going to show you, like I said, it's a little bit confusing for me because I have some whips, but I'm not going to show those until next month, it is from Astro Inklings, and it was a page of Taurus, and I love how this came out. I also use Prismas for this, and also for these, for this, I use Prism. I mean, girl... I had a really bad night of sleep <laughs> and I was like, should I film this video or not? Am I going to be moody or am I going to be okay? I don't feel moody, but oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I used polychromos for the page, um, Jane Davenport's pastels for the background. I really love how that background came out. Um, some stickles here and there. I didn't really use my stickles this month. I've noticed. I think I was really entertained with using my polychromos and I don't know if you could tell by the pictures I've colored. Uh, when I color with just markers, I can do pages back to back to back to back to back to back. Uh, when I color with a lot of pencils, it's not that easy because First of all, a page will take a lot longer coloring it with pencils. And not only that, but once I'm done with a picture, when I colored it with pencils, I feel like I need maybe a day of break of coloring. Um, so that happens. And not only that, but when I'm coloring with pencils, I've noticed that I like to jump around to different pages and rotate them. So maybe that's why also I have a lot of whips because I was playing around with my new pencils and um, when I'm working with pencils, I just need to keep changing the page. I try to keep a limited amount, but you know, what can I say? <laughs> um, I just work completely different when I'm working with markers and I'm working with pencils. Um, I don't know if you guys can share that opinion or if you guys are the same way or not 
Um, recently, right now, I'm still loving my polychromos. Um, and also, like, I did a picture with Prismacolor pencils again. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is why I love Prismacolor pencils. But I still love the polychromos. But now I'm also working with watercolor because I love watercolor also. I'm just having a blast coloring. What can I say? One more picture and then I'm done. This is a picture I did in a video. It was my three marker challenge and also monochromatic. I'm sh pretty sure I'm going to do this again. Um, maybe not on video, I'll see. But the reason I wanna do it again is because when I see this, I see all the things I would do differently. Um, even though I'm very proud of this picture and I really like how it came out, um, I see things I could have done differently. Um, but for now, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. Um, and I'll see you guys hopefully really soon. Please take care and I love you guys. Bye.